to Wild of the World and during a long world trip we decided to go to Brazil. In the previous episode you saw us in Rio de Janeiro, but now we moved on along the coast and we're in Cabo Frio for this episode. And Rio turned out to be one of the most adventurous cities I've ever visited. What a start to our trip through Brazil! But now we took a bus and drove east along the coast for about three hours. Cabo Frio literally means the cold cape and this name was given by the Portuguese to this port town because of the cold water. There's a cold current in the Atlantic Ocean carrying water all the way from the South Pole, making it a little bit cold to swim here. But on the other hand, they also call this the Caribbean of Brazil because of the blue water and the perfect white beaches. In Cabo Frio we are staying in a brand new hotel with a nice view over the bay and on this little fortress that's near the coast on a little island and that's why they called the hotel Mirante do Forte. Besides the amazing view this hotel is also fantastic. For about 50 bucks you have a room including breakfast. And it's the perfect location to explore the beautiful surroundings of Cabo Frio. to the most beautiful beach that's right in front of the hotel. It's called Praia do Forte, named after the 17th century fortress that's on the rocks in front of the beach. The fortress of Sao Mateus was built by the Portuguese in 1620 to protect their riches from pirates. Do you think they knew back then that this would turn out to be a bizarrely beautiful drone spot? You can walk to the fortress within 10 minutes and you can enter it as well, so let's have a look. On the beach we meet Spider-Man, whom Jens absolutely adores. I like it when sellers are so creative, so we definitely buy some ice cream from him. Because it's winter the town is a little bit quiet, but the prices are crazy. You can eat all you want and still stay under 10 bucks. Just a little south of Cabo Frio, there's a peninsula with a beach town called Arayal do Cabo. And from there you can visit some nice beaches and some islands. So today we're gonna make a little boat tour to the most beautiful spots in the neighborhood. Let's go! One of the best spots we're going to visit is the Grotto Azul and there's only two of those in the whole world. It's like a blue cave where you can enter with the boat. Don't look back, I wanna show you the wonders of the universe, girl. 
This cave could easily be the setting of a pirate movie. And wow, have you ever seen so many jellyfish? The next stop we make is on an island called Ilha do Faro, and it's an uninhabited island. Isn't she beautiful? So I think it's quite accurate that they call this the Caribbean of Brazil. Every beach here is even more beautiful than the other. And by the way, this boat tour only costs us about 10 bucks a person and Jens goes for free. How do they do it? So we stopped at the next beach and it's called Astrainha do Pontal, if I'm saying it right. And uh, this is another perfect beach, guys. Vind van Jens? We sail a bit through the bay and we end up at Praia do Forno, which is the last stop and also the end of this episode. But I'll see you soon because we're going to be in Brazil for a while and then we travel on because we're still on this big world trip. I'll see you soon. But what I didn't know back then is that Suze had a little dessert in mind for this episode. Dum dum dum. Before we continue our travels through Brazil, it's time for a little celebration. It's my birthday, yay, and I'm turning 35. Suze has surprised me and taken me to a hotel in Macai, about a two hours drive from Cabo Frio in the east. And I'm standing on the rooftop terrace near the beach on Hyatt Place, Macai. What do you guys think of this for a birthday present? Makaye is a town with a fantastic coastline and a very relaxed vibe. We enjoy three days of complete and other luxury here. And then it's time to really continue our travels. And saying so, it feels like an understatement. We fly about 1600 miles to the most remote part in Brazil. Paradise Island Fernando de Noronha is located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and is about 10 times smaller than an island like Aruba for instance. So subscribe to our channel and follow us around the world. <laughs> 